This is Fixing Common Excel Errors Part 3. This is the third video in a three-part series on how to fix Common Excel errors. In this particular video, we're going to focus on two different common errors. One is the ref error, and the other is the value error. You can see the spreadsheet we're going to use. This is an inventory with a list of supplies, where they're stored, and some other details about them, like the number of packages, the quantity per package, and then we have a formula to calculate, okay, if there are 20 packages of batteries and 6 batteries per package, we have 120 total batteries. And like I say, that's calculated automatically with this formula. Now to illustrate the ref error, let's say that I decide that, you know what, this data here is really not necessary. I don't need to know the quantity per package. I just need to know the total quantity. So what if I just go in and delete columns C and D? I just clicked and dragged from C to D. It selected the entire columns, and I'll just delete. You can see what happened. I got a ref error. And the reason for the ref error is the formula referred to cells that no longer exist in this formula. Those cells are completely gone. I deleted the entire columns. Those cells are gone. I'm going to click away and undo that with Control Z to bring it back. And you can see that solves the problem. Now, what if I just delete one cell? I right click on this cell. I click delete. Excel is going to shift cells around to try to replace the cell I'm destroying. And you can see what it did. It ruined the formula here. It can't find the cell that it was referring to. It's gone. And so it gives us a ref error for reference, basically. So how do you fix that? Well, you can either undo. You can realize that was a mistake. I can't just delete this data. Or if you really have to delete the data, that's OK. But just go into your formula by clicking on the cell with the ref error and you can double click on it and make the changes right there in the cell or you can just click once and then go up here to the formula bar whichever way you want to do it you need to go in and fix the formula so this is where the error is i can just delete that and say okay c3 multiplied by d3 tap enter that fixed the reference now the references are valid and it's good now let's move on to the value error and you'll get the value error when you use the wrong function argument, or often what it is, is you're trying to combine different types of data that really don't go together. So like a number plus a text, or maybe you're multiplying a word by a number. That won't make sense in most cases. So let's look at our first example of mistakes that might lead to the value error. Let's say over here on the right, I'm trying to multiply the number of packages by the quantity per package, like I did here successfully. But let's say instead of C2, what if I were to put B2? So now I'm multiplying the third floor closet by 6. Let's see how that goes. I tap Enter, and I get the value error. Why? Because I'm combining two types of data that just don't go together. Text multiplied by a number value. Another example that's kind of common is, let's say, as I'm typing in the number 11, what if I'm in a hurry and I accidentally put a space in there? It still looks pretty good. It looks like 11 to me, but I tap Enter on the keyboard and I get a value error. That extra space just doesn't compute as a number. Another example down here, let's say, again, I'm in a hurry, and as I'm typing in the number 30, maybe I accidentally type in 30 instead of 30. Let's say all caps is on, and that looks like 30, but I tap enter. Again, I'm combining things that just don't go together. 3 O multiplied by 4, that doesn't make any sense, and so I get a value error. Another fairly common mistake that will lead to the value error is sometimes when you put symbols in a cell with numbers, Excel doesn't like that sometimes, and you'll get a value error. Now watch what happens if I put a dollar sign in there. Normally you wouldn't do that. You wouldn't just put a dollar sign in. Instead, you would select the cell and go up here on the home ribbon in the number group and click on dollar sign. That's the proper way to show that these are dollars. But from time to time, people will just go ahead and type a dollar sign. Now that actually works. It doesn't cause an error. But other symbols often do cause errors. For example, let's say I put a hashtag in there. So hashtag 28. Maybe I'm trying to say number 28. But I tap enter on the keyboard and I get a value error. So watch out whenever you're putting in symbols 
like these, and you're putting numbers also in the same cell, that will often lead to a value error. So when you get these value errors, take notice of what is in the cells, and if there's mistakes, you need to fix them. Obviously, I can go in and change it from B2 to C2. That'll fix that one. In this case, I can fix the O and change it to zero. And in this case, I can get rid of the symbols. Now, some of you may be noticing that my formulas are all messed up a little bit. That's because of my previous example of the ref error and how I deleted a cell. Notice that it moved everything up, and that's why my formulas are a little bit off. But the point remains that if you try to combine different types of data together in formulas, if they don't go together, you will probably get the value error. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you subscribe, click the bell so you'll be notified whenever I post another video. And if you'd like to support my channel, become a supporter of mine through my Patreon account, and you'll see a link to that in the description below.